Chapter 3 of The Adventures of Whisk the Red Squirrel. Chapter 3 The Chase. When Pruel the Weasel started after Whisk the Red Squirrel to catch Whisk and eat him, Whisk had no idea where to go. He remembered that the other squirrels had told that weasels can go anywhere squirrels can go because they are so small. So he didn't even try to find a hiding place. Now, though he didn't know it at the time, he was running as fast as he could, which meant that he would soon tire himself out. And that is just what he did do. After a while, he had to start resting more and more often, and each rest was shorter than the one before. For he felt as if that pesky weasel was all the time getting nearer and nearer to him. Presently, he spotted a little farmhouse not very far away. He wanted to see that farmhouse from up close before he would surely be eaten. But there was somebody which was all the time watching for a chance to catch Whisk. This fellow was Bart the Snowy Owl. But Whisky didn't know this, so he started out to see the farmhouse. Halfway there he stopped. He had heard some other squirrels talk about great two-legged giants, which are called men, and that most of the so-called men creatures who lived in those farmhouses often tried to get rid of squirrels. But Whisk went on because he thought the danger behind a fool the weasel was no greater than the danger in front. Because why, what do you think he saw? The man with his boy topping some wood just outside the farmhouse. Whisk thought that he could maybe hide somewhere just inside that house and not be seen by the boy, man, or a weasel. But he was wrong. You see, weasels trust mostly to their nose to find somebody. And there also were those traps that Whisk had left in the snow. Whisk didn't know this, so he went and found the hiding place and hid. End of chapter 3